Hey there, welcome back. I'm down to my last video for tonight, another busy night. I'm gonna show you what's called a hierarchy chart, and this is quite new. And basically what it does is it uses size and shape to kind of represent uh, the distrib distribution of values, okay? So if you can imagine, where's my drawing tool? All right, if you can imagine this entire square means 100% of your information, okay? And then what it does is proportionally, it divides this based on the number of values that you have. So let's do a simple example. Let's say I made these all, you know, 100, okay? Oops, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. And I've just lost it. Okay, let's say I go 100, right? They're all gonna be the exact same size, right? And the reason it's not that is just because of the scaling. Okay, let's go ahead and bring it here. And also because there's seven of them. So let's change this a bit. Let's make it an even number. Okay, all right, let's bring that back. And you notice they're all the same size now that it's an even number, right? So let's say I make one twice as big as another. Let's make this one 200, okay? that one is going to be twice as large as these two, right? Because these are all by 100. And so depending on your results, you can actually get a really good effect. So let's just say, if I move this over here, okay, I'm going to copy these results right here, copy and paste, okay? And then it's going to scale it based on that value. So these two appear to have the largest value. And you can actually add that in in terms of what the label is. So before we get to that, let me show you how to build it. So you want to start off by going insert. And it's this one right here. Okay. So we go ahead and select that. Oh, yeah. It's also sometimes called a tree map for reasons I don't understand. Okay. Let's go into here. All right. Oh, let's select data add series name let's put that in there okay the access and this will say what the actual data set is okay then if i go into design and go here i can start adding all those sorts of things so i can go show to show the actual labels i can add the data labels and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go more data label options and i'm also going to add value right then I'm just going to increase the size and we're pretty much done. Okay. So you can see. So usually what it does is it starts from the top left and goes downwards like this. All right. It goes this way. So from highest to lowest and then it kind of starts up back here again. Then it comes down. Right. Again, then it comes back down here and then it kind of keeps following that pattern until you get to the very, very bottom corner where you have very little values right and it kind of disappears right and that's basically what a hierarchy chart is so again another visual way to represent your information hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time